Hey friends, I'm so happy you are here to join me for story time today. Can you join me sitting on the floor? Great job. All right, before we get started, can you use your pointing fingers to help me find a few colors? Can anyone find the color blue? Is this blue? Is this blue? No, oh, here it is, there's blue. Yay! Good job. Can anybody help me find the color yellow? Is it right here? Is it right here? Yeah, there it is. Great job. Okay, can you help me find one more color? Where is the color green? Hmm, is this green? Or is this green? Oh, silly me, there's green. Yay! Good job. What do you think about dancing together today? I've got a brand new song for us. Can you raise both hands really high if you want to dance? Wow, you're reaching so high. Okay then, let's dance. Y'all sure are great dancers. Did you get all your wiggles out? Okay, when I say three, let's get our very last little wiggles out. Ready? One, two, three. Good job, Ollie. All right, way to go. Great job. I think we are just about ready for our story today. Oh, but where is Ollie? I haven't seen him today and he's bringing our book. Ollie, where are you? Has, has anyone seen him? Can you use your pointing fingers to help me find Ollie? Hmm, is he here? No. Is he here? No. What about here? No. Oh, there he is. Silly Ollie, I could not have found him without you. All right, now we need to find our book Ollie brought. Does anyone see a book? Is this a book? Is that a book? Oh, wait, I think there's something behind me. Is this a book? Yay, Yay you found it. Great job.
job, friends. Let's read it. A colorful kite soared in the sky, and then whoosh, it got caught on an oak tree branch. Don't worry, I can help, Tucker called, tugging the kite this way and that. Tucker was a little bear. Helping others made him happy, and his friends needed lots of help. Some bears were always fighting. Some bears were sick. Some bears couldn't read. Some bears were hungry, and some bears were sad. Tucker didn't know how to help his friends. I could ask the king for help, Tucker cried. Maybe, just maybe, if I give him the perfect gift, he will help us. So off Tucker went on a journey to see the good king who lived in the castle where the door was always open. It wasn't long before a group of big, strong raccoons blocked Tucker's path. Stop, one raccoon ordered. What do you want? I will want to take the king the perfect gift, but, but, but I don't know what to choose, Tucker explained. The king is a good warrior, the raccoon said. Why don't you give him this shield? The king will keep you safe, cheered the other raccoons. Down the road, an owl swooped down in front of Tucker. Hoot, hoot, the owl called. What would you like to learn? I'm trying to figure out the perfect gift to take to the king, Tucker replied. The king teaches from his wise book, the owl told him. I'm certain the king would be pleased if you gave him something to read. As Tucker walked away, the owl hooted. Go see the king, he's a good teacher. As he walked, Tucker spotted foxes wearing long white jackets. How are you feeling, asked the concerned fox. I feel fine, but some of the bears in my town are sick, Tucker replied. I'm on my way to see the king and ask for his help. Here, take these bandages as a gift, the fox said. The king is a good doctor. More confused than ever, Tucker sat to rest. Are you here for a snack? The squirrel asked. Actually, I'm trying to find the perfect gift for the king, Tucker explained. Looking around, wow, you have so many fruits and vegetables. Why don't you take the king these seeds? The squirrel suggested. The king is a good farmer. He will help you grow food. Far away, Tucker heard music and singing and laughter. He followed the sounds until he spotted some happy turtles. Jump on in, now's your chance. This turtle town just loves to dance. A turtle sang, We used to be sad, but now we know everything is a celebration because of the king. What kind of gift do you think he would like? Tucker asked. Give the king this violin, the turtle said. He's a good musician. The king will bring you joy. All the animals Tucker met had told him different stories about the king and what the perfect gift would be. But Tucker still didn't know what to give him. He looked up to the castle at the top of the tall hill. As it always was, the door was wide open. Tucker tiptoed toward the open door. Tucker the king ran toward him with a huge smile. I'm so glad you're here. It looks like you need my help. My friends are in trouble, and I thought if I brought you the perfect gift, you would help us, Tucker explained shyly. You brought the perfect gift, the king said with great love. Now, let's go help your friends. Tucker wasn't sure which gift was the perfect gift. Even so, he hurried off with the king. On their journey back to the little bear's town, Tucker asked question after question. Are you a warrior? Yes, the king answered. Are you a teacher? Yes, the king replied. Are you a doctor? Are you a farmer? Are you a musician? Yes, yes, and yes, the king patiently replied. But how can you be all of these things? The little bear asked. The king smiled. I am all of these things because I am a good father. Tucker didn't understand. Soon the king and the little bear reached Tucker's town. When the bear saw the king, one by one they bowed down. The king walked through the town and gave help to everyone who needed it. Most of all, the king, the good father, loved them. Tucker said to the king, Now I see, you are not only a good father, you are a good, good father. A good, good father protects us. 
A good, good father teaches us. A good, good father makes us well. A good, good father gives us what we need. A good, good father fills life with music and laughter. And most of all, a good, good father loves us. Dear King, I have one more question. Which gift was the perfect gift, Tucker asked. You are the perfect gift, the king told the little bear. You came to me when you needed help. You trusted me. You bring me great joy and I love you with all my heart, the same way I love all my children. Tucker curled up with sleepy eyes and a full heart whispered, you really are a good, good father. The end. Wow, thanks, Ollie. That was a great book. If you liked our book today, can I see one thumb? If you liked our book today, can I see two thumbs? If you liked our book today, let's clap together really loud. Yay! Great job, friends. Before we go, can anyone help me remember what Ollie tells us when we're together on Sundays and while we're having church at home? Three things. One, two, three. God loves me. God made me. And Jesus wants to be my friend for forever. That's right. Jesus loves you and he made you and he wants to be your friend forever. Wow. God made you so smart and you are such a good listener too. Thank you so much for coming to Storytime with me today. I sure have missed you, and I can't wait to get to see you again very soon. As we leave today, I think we should do one more song. What do you think? Okay, let's dance. Have a good day, friends, and see you next time.